Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, commonly known as COPD, is a chronic respiratory condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is a disease that affects the lungs, causing inflammation, mucus production, and progressive damage to the airways, making it difficult to breathe. COPD is a serious condition that can lead to disability, reduced quality of life, and even death if left untreated. In this video, I will walk you through the causes, symptoms, diagnosis and treatment of COPD. Let's first look at the causes. Smoking is the most common cause of COPD. Tobacco smoke contains harmful chemicals, including tar, which can damage the airways and lung tissue, leading to inflammation and reduced lung function. Nonetheless, not all smokers will develop COPD, and some individuals who do not smoke may still develop the disease. As well as exposure to environmental pollutants such as air pollution, dust, and fumes can also contribute to the development of COPD. These pollutants can irritate the airways and cause inflammation, leading to chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Genetic factors can also play a role in the development of COPD. Individuals with a family history of the disease or certain genetic variations may be more susceptible to developing COPD, even if they have never smoked or been exposed to environmental pollutants. Other risk factors for this disease include frequent respiratory infections, poor nutrition, and a sedentary lifestyle. Respiratory infections can cause inflammation and damage to the airways, while poor nutrition and a lack of physical activity can weaken the respiratory muscles and reduce lung function. And for the symptoms. It can vary from person to person and can be mild, moderate, or severe. Typical symptoms of COPD include Shortness of breath. This is one of the most common symptoms of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It can be caused by the narrowing of the airways or the destruction of the air sacs in the lungs. Chronic cough. A persistent cough that produces mucus is another common symptom. The cough can be worse in the morning and can interfere with sleep. Wheezing. This is a high-pitched whistling sound that can be heard during breathing. It's caused by the narrowing of the airways. Chest tightness. This can feel like a squeezing or pressure in the chest and can make it difficult to breathe. Fatigue. COPD can cause fatigue and a lack of energy, making it difficult to perform daily activities. Frequent respiratory infections. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease can weaken the immune system and make individuals more susceptible to respiratory infections, such as pneumonia and bronchitis. As COPD progresses, symptoms may become more severe and can lead to complications such as respiratory failure and heart problems. Here comes the diagnosis. If you are experiencing symptoms of COPD, it is important to see a doctor for a proper diagnosis. Some common steps for healthcare providers to take to diagnose COPD include Medical history. The healthcare provider will ask about any symptoms you are experiencing, including cough, shortness of breath, and wheezing. They may also ask about your smoking history and any exposure to environmental pollutants. Physical examination. Health professional will listen to your lungs with a stethoscope to check for any abnormal sounds and may also measure your oxygen levels with a pulse oximeter. Pulmonary function test. This is a non-invasive test that measures how much air you can breathe in and out, how quickly you can exhale, and how well your lungs are able to transfer oxygen to your blood. This test is often used to diagnose COPD and to assess the severity of the disease. Chest X-ray or CT scan. These imaging tests can help healthcare providers rule out other lung diseases and identify any structural abnormalities in the lungs. Blood tests. Blood tests may be used to check for low oxygen levels in the blood or to rule out other conditions that can cause similar symptoms. These tests will help your doctor determine the severity of your condition and develop a treatment plan that is tailored to your needs. Is there any way to treat chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? While there is no cure for COPD, there are many treatments available that can help manage symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. Some common treatments include Smoking cessation. The most important step in treating COPD is to quit smoking. This can slow the progression of the disease and reduce the risk of complications. Medications. There are several types of medications that can be used to treat COPD, including bronchodilators, corticosteroids, and phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitors. These medications help to open up the airways, reduce inflammation, and improve lung function. Pulmonary rehabilitation. 
This is a program that combines exercise, breathing techniques, and education to improve lung function and reduce symptoms. It can also help individuals with COPD manage anxiety and depression. Oxygen therapy. In some cases, oxygen therapy may be needed to improve oxygen levels in the blood and reduce shortness of breath. Surgery. In severe cases of COPD, surgery may be an option. This can include lung volume reduction surgery, which removes damaged tissue from the lungs, or lung transplantation, which replaces a diseased lung with a healthy one. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a progressive disease, meaning that it worsens over time. It is typically categorized into two types. Chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Chronic bronchitis is characterized by inflammation of the bronchial tubes, which can lead to a persistent cough, production of mucus, and difficulty breathing. Emphysema, on the other hand, is characterized by damage to the air sacs in the lungs, which can cause shortness of breath, chest tightness, and a wheezing sound during breathing. COPD is a common disease, affecting millions of people worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, it is the third leading cause of death globally. It is more common in older adults, but it can also affect younger individuals who have been exposed to environmental factors or have a genetic predisposition to the disease. Besides smoking and exposure to environmental factors, other risk factors for COPD include a history of respiratory infections, poor nutrition, and a sedentary lifestyle. Not everyone who smokes or is exposed to environmental factors will develop COPD, and some individuals who do not smoke or have environmental exposure may still develop COPD due to genetic factors or other underlying health conditions. It can have a significant impact on a person's quality of life, causing limitations in daily activities, increased risk of respiratory infections, and frequent hospitalizations. In spite of that, with proper management and treatment, individuals with COPD can lead fulfilling and active lives. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a complex and challenging disease that requires a comprehensive approach to management and treatment. If you are experiencing symptoms or are concerned about your risk for the disease, it is important to speak with your healthcare provider for proper diagnosis and treatment. While there is no cure for COPD, early diagnosis and proper treatment can help manage symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. It is important for those with COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease to work closely with their doctors to develop a treatment plan that is tailored to their individual needs. And to make lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking, eating a healthy diet, and exercising regularly to improve their overall health and quality of life.